Hello, I'm Blair Dress here. Today we will explore a little more the stock taking with Nexo POS. Most of the time, for grocery store, after each procurement come the stock taking. In Nexo POS, all stock taking are saved under a name, which can be used to retrieve all procured item stock and to have an estimation of the cost of that procurement. We call that a supply on Nexo POS, and it's used to increase the stock of the existing items. If you want to learn more how that's work, then let's get started. How is the stock taking used on XOP West? Well, before using the stock taking, you need to know which kind of item can actually receive a stock on XOP West. On XOP West, we have three different type of item. A physical item, a digital item, and a grouper item. Only physical items can receive a stock. Digital items can't receive a stock since it's basically uncountable. The grouped item is the combination of the physical items and or digital items. The stock management for this latest is based on each item configuration. So no need to provide a stock for this grouped item, okay? Now, how to proceed to a stock taking on Excel POS? Let's provide a stock for a physical item. We should first make sure that we have some items on the system. So let's take a look at the inventory, then item list. Okay, here is the item. I will drive the SKU for this item and use it during the stock taking. Now let's move to the new supply UI. So inventory, then new supply. How should you understand this UI? This UI can either be used to create a new supplier or to use an existing supplier and provide item stock. We have on the left side a search field used to retrieve an existing item using his name, his barcode, or his SKU. This UI can be used with a barcode scanner to speed up the stock taking process. We have on the right side a field which can be toggled. Click on Add to create a new supply name or search to select an existing supply name. So for this example, we will create a new supply. Then I will click on add and provide a name. Let's say supply A. The choice of the supply name belongs to you, so it can be whatever you want. Now, once that we have the supply name provided, let's use the SKU I have copied earlier. So let me pass that on the field. Okay. Now, actually, while passing the SKU on the search field, if the system find out one existing item, this item will automatically be added to the supply table. Otherwise, you will have a suggestion of items that you can click on or a error message if nothing has been found. On the supply table, we can see the item name, the purchase price of the item, and the quantity supplied. The quantity supplied will increase the current stock of the item. So be sure about the quantity and put it here. The next step is to select a provider. I assume for this tutorial that you already have some supply on your system. Okay, let me select a provider and all is done. Let me complete the operation. Once done, an invoice of the supply will be issued and you'll be able to print that out. How to crack the item history with the stock flow? Once an item has received a new stock, this action is reflected on the item history. We will now see how the stock flow looks like. So, inventory, then item list, then the item himself, and the option. Okay, here you can see the product history. This takes us to the stock flow of this specific item where we can see basically all actions performed on this item stock, which include sales, supplies, refunds, and stock adjustment. As you can see here, we have the new provided stock here. Okay, that's basically all about the stock taking on XOPOS. Thank you for watching this. <laughs>